In this video, we'll be looking at an application of something called the side angle relationship in triangles to determine the longest segment, or perhaps the shortest segment in other problems, same idea, uh, of a compound figure with multiple triangles. So deceptively, a lot of people would think, uh, and this picture may not be to scale, um, so keep that in mind, a lot of people would think that the, this kind of question is easy because this is the biggest number, so this is the longest side. That may be true within this triangle, but the overall shape is not a triangle. This is not a triangle, obviously. It's made up of triangles, sure. First, some review. Recall that the side angle relationship in triangle says that the smallest angle is across from the shortest side. Actually, that appears to be shorter over here. So this should be the smallest angle. The biggest angle should be across from the longest side. So there's a direct relationship between a side and its opposite angle, or vice versa. So let us first focus on triangle QUD. If we were to rank triangle QUD's segments, the smallest segment would be the one across from its smallest angle. So that would be segment QD. That's the least. It is less in length than the medium-sized angle's opposite side, which is QU. And the longest length in this red triangle is across from its biggest angle, which would be UD. But UD is uh, interesting because it belongs to two triangles. UD is also part of this shape right here, this blue triangle, named UAD. So let's look at triangle UAD's side angle relationship. In this context, UAD has a smallest angle of 43 and thus a smallest side length of UD. So right away, what was the biggest length in red triangle is the smallest length in the other triangle. Everything else in this picture for the blue triangle is bigger than UD because 67 is the medium sized angle, so its opposite side is UA. And the biggest uh, angle measurement, let me draw that U better, the biggest angle measurement of 70, again, in the blue triangle, is across from its longest length, which is DA. So if you look at the line of reasoning here, you have some commonalities right here. UD appears twice. So we actually know how to rank the entire uh, set of lengths uh, all in one go, from least to greatest, the smallest length all the way up to the biggest length. We know that QD is the shortest. Its length uh, is less than QU and the length of UD is bigger than those, but UD also belongs to this list, which is less than UA, which is less than DA. So the longest segment in this picture is DA. Hope this helps.